Hey guys, this is a video to show how I take care of my um, reshaped ears. This is the way that I did it, um, that my body modification artist told me what to do, so everyone may take care of it differently, but this is just my experience. Um, so what you see is sanitized gauze, uh, gauze wrap, some medical non-sticky adhesive tape, some H2O Ocean, and some antibiotic ointment. So you should be able to generally find these at any, you know, drugstore. Um, just be careful not to get adhesive gauze pads because you don't want it sticking to your stitches. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's about all I can say about that. So now you'll see me washing my hands because that is obviously important if you're going to be touching a wound. Um, yeah, and I wash my hands a lot, so. <laughs> and you're going to start out by spraying the H2 Ocean on your ear. Uh, not too close because you don't want to get it too wet. As you can tell why my hair is so greasy because I haven't been able to shower in quite a while. And just try not to spray it in your uh, eye like I I do, as you see. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you get your ointment and you, uh, you can put it on your finger if they're clean, but I'd honestly recommend that. I don't really know why I put it on a q-tip considering the fuzz could have got stuck in the stitches, but we all learn from our mistakes, I guess. Um, you can see a little cotton swab inside the, the lip, I guess, of my ear. I haven't changed that since I've got it done. You want to keep this area generally dry too, um, but I'm probably going to change it um, sometime soon. Yeah, just don't forget about the back stitches also. And you see me washing my hands again. And um, make sure they're fully dry after this because you're going to be touching the sanitized gauze. Um, if you can't get it sanitized, obviously with an autoclave, as I have, as you can tell by the packaging, you can definitely find sanitized gauze at any kind of drugstore. So. Just make sure, like I said, it's, it has no adhesive on it because you don't want it sticking to your stitches. And you just pretty much place it on, you know, a generous amount on top of your ear. Your lobe doesn't really matter. And as you can see me struggling with the tape to get it going, you just want to take a few strips and lay it on along your ear. Um, do not do the stitches though obviously because it'll rip them out which is not good so yeah just make it secure enough so it won't fall off you know this is just my nighttime routine by the way I don't do this during the day the day I just do the H2 ocean and the the ointment antibiotic ointment um, and this is just what the routine I'm probably gonna be doing for I don't know two weeks maybe depends you know if the bleeding stops and obviously take out your your um, tunnels if you have you know your your stretch and you should clean your earlobes but I was being naughty and didn't today so or well, that night so yeah just do a generous amount of tape and make sure it's secure because you don't want it falling off in the middle of the night and yeah, it's just some of the tape that I use make sure it's waterproof not that you're gonna get it wet so that really shouldn't matter but most medical tape is waterproof and yeah I have a, a lot of hair so it's kind of difficult not to get the tape in your hair but it doesn't really stick well so I'd recommend trying to get it on your skin and obviously do the other ear I just didn't pick, think it was that um, I didn't think it was that important to show the whole thing in slow motion, so that's why I'm just fast forwarding it. So, yep, 
just doing the same thing to the other side. On this part you may need help with, um, this is probably just going to be for the first week that I'm doing, I'll probably stop doing this by Sunday night. Um, it's just a gauze, like, wrap, it's not singles, and you just want to wrap it completely around your, your face, pretty much, um, just to hold the gauze more securely in place and keep your ears against your head, because it does make a difference, I mean, it's more comfortable in my opinion because my ears aren't poking out and you may need help with this like I said and pretty much you're gonna get it cut right there and you gotta tape it but I didn't show me cutting it and the first strip of tape was laid by my husband because like I said you might need help with a lot of this stuff it is possible to do it by yourself so I've done it before and I'm gonna put tape down my nose like the weirder that I am and yeah, you just want to secure it in place. Just, you don't have to use it sparingly. You can always buy more if needed be. You really want to make sure that it's secure. So I'll just show you how it looks all around my head. Try to keep your hair out because otherwise it's going to fall off in the middle of the night. <laughs> and these are the pillows you may have options to. I prefer the neck pillow. I don't know, it's just worked for me better than the donut pillow, which is what I really just bought for this. Um, yeah, so you see me pulling my earlobe down, the earlobe's going on the bottom, and so my cartilage can fit comfortably in the top, or I can lay in the back of my head. And that's pretty much it. Those are the positions that I sleep in, and this worked out well for me. So that's pretty much it. I hope it was helpful. Now I'm just going to show you some pictures of the procedure and I'm not gonna tell you how it was done because I'm not you know the body modification artist so I'm not gonna explain these pictures so yeah I hope this was helpful and you can learn from it and if you have any more questions feel free to write them down below and I'll help you the best that I can um, so thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a happy day Okay. I feel it now.